Yo, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Carlos Harris and I'm in Dallas, Texas, like I said in my previous vlog for my TED Talk. And I'll be here until the 23rd, I believe, and then I'm going to Austin. But today I got some training in with my boy over at Self Made Training Facility. Facility is dope. We did some boxing work and stuff like that. Um, and Dante and Christy are here. We went out to dinner last night. The cappest dinner I've ever had in life as far as service, but we won't talk about that. Today, we're gonna to be going over to the studio to look at the updated renovations. Um, I showed you guys the last time what we were thinking about doing, but my boy Javier has finished the walls and we're gonna go over there and see the progress on that. And along with the moss wall that Energy Gardens is installing and all the rest of the stuff that we're doing. Um, and then we're gonna go over to Galleria Mall um, and go to Zara to pick up an outfit for Taja for the TED Talk, show Dante and Chrissy around the Dallas area. And yeah, just basically vlogging this trip, um, hopefully you guys enjoy some of the behind the scenes um, leading up to the TED Talk. Uh, I really appreciate the love and support on the previous video before this, the iPhone 14 giveaway announcement and stuff. The, sus the subscribers are growing heavily and I'm really enjoying like YouTube. Obviously people are enjoying it too. Hopefully growing this channel to 100K, 200K, and then hopefully a million at some point. But yeah, we're about to jump into this day, get started, I'm about to shower get dressed and then we're gonna head out and probably just walk to the studio so I can show them around Deep Ellum, grab some coffee, and then um, I'll see you guys over there. All right, we got the fit on. Probably can't see the full fit, but I'm gonna run you down. Got the John Elliott top. I love ugly pants. I haven't worn these in a minute. They're kind of like, um, I forgot what to call them, what type of fabric, whatever it is. And then the um, Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Lowe's. Got my little Louis V cross bag, Submariner, David Yerman accessories, Tom Brown shades. So it's a cool little fit. Some cool, some light. It's like 85 degrees in Texas, which is crazy. But um, we're about to get out here in the city and then get this day started. All right, now that my mic is actually on, we went by Sweet Green. I got a dope ass salad. It was the pesto, pesto chicken salad or whatever it was. And now we're over here at Knowledge. Um, Dante and Chrissy are seeing us for the first time. If you guys want to check out Knowledge, it's in Deep Ellum on Main Street, right over by Punchbowl Social. And then I'll do like some B-roll of the actual store. But yeah, stop by Sweet Green, had a dope ass salad. I highly suggest going there, but it's a little bit expensive. And I'll show you guys some B-roll of the store. Well, Merit Coffee is always my go-to place when I'm here in Dallas. I always get my iced latte with oat milk, and I need to get some caramel here too. I usually don't get it, but I'm gonna add it this time. But if you're in Dallas, definitely stop by Merritt. It's a dope little spot in Deep Ellum. So we have a coffee thief over here. She didn't want to get her own. Babe, I want one now. No. Okay. Do you really want one? Okay, go with it. Technically, that's yours now. Here, baby. Go ahead. All right, so we swam by Sneaker Politics. If you guys aren't familiar with Sneaker Politics, originated in um, Louisiana. We got a location here in Dallas. If you're looking for some dope sneaks, definitely pull up, show some love. I'm gonna show some B-roll of the actual place and then, yeah, you guys check it out. All right, so we're continuing this mission. Dante picked up a shirt from Knowledge. I didn't even know. What is it, the Hot Wheels? What yeah, it's it? the Hot Wheels, NASCAR all over print. Little Hot Wheels, vintage tee. We're about to actually go to my boy, my boy's vintage shop right up here. So I'll tap in when we get there. But so far, we've been showing a couple of good places and we'll keep this little tour going. Last time I came down here, y'all saw on SneakerCon. I couldn't even fit all the sneakers in my bag, so 
I'm not trying to relive that again because I got already have four pairs of sneakers with me and barely any room for clothes. And the coffee didn't ran through me. Crazy. It's crazy. Right when you said that, I felt the same. That's just it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it to the studio, and it looks like a tornado hit this motherfucker. But this will be cleaned up. Uh, Anthony's finishing up the moss wall. You guys don't know Energy Gardens. I'll tag them in the little description down below. If you guys need a moss wall, plants, anything like that, hit them up. He ships all across the U.S. Um, and we're gonna put like a neon sign in between that, like I told you. And then Javier, he finished up the renovations back here. So this is turning into another box like you see over there. All this stuff will be gone. We'll rip it off and do some type of installation on there. This is a normal box that we always have with the LED lights inside of it. I should probably turn it on so I can see what that looks like, but I'll do that some other time. And then we installed like another smaller one instead of having another huge insulation over here that doesn't really get used that much. So we'll figure out what type of concept we want to put in there. And then over here, the whole idea was to have an open studio. So that backdrop right there that you see, it'll be put up there and people will be able to shoot out in the open over here. And then over here, we'll have the vanity mirrors. Um, once all this stuff gets removed, all this stuff will be gone. We'll do like a little dressing room over here so people can get changed and stuff like that. And yeah, I already showed you guys the studio inside here. Obviously, it's got to be mopped and painted and all the rest of that stuff. But overall, everything's coming together. They're basically cleaning out all the stuff, getting the storage and stuff, um, I guess, more organized because it needs to be organized. The back room, I didn't take you guys back there last time. Back here is just like a kitchen area, which again, is still shit all over the place, but it's a kitchen area. You got an office right there and then a bathroom over there to the left. But yeah, the renovations are coming along. Hopefully this will be done within the next three weeks. It just needs to get all the junk out of here. So 1-800-JUNK is on fucking speed dial. And yeah, just a little update on the studio. And I think we're gonna go head over to Galleria to go to Zara and then I'm gonna show them um, Scotty and them store. And then Taj will pick up outfit and we'll probably grab some food over there too. All right, cool. We just made it to the Galleria. I'm about to head up here to um, private selection. Hopefully Scotty and them are here. Uh, I think they might be, but we're gonna walk around, grab some stuff from Zara, I think for, ta for Taja, and then see if Chrissy and Dante wanna stop by any other stores, but I'm gonna slide by private selection. Dead and deep fried, you like Popeyes? Private selection. Uh, I think I don't even know I got a TED talk tomorrow. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Larry bought the tickets for him. That's crazy. See, be real Gosh, supporter right here. You guys are it's probably because uh, we're the same color. And y'all going to Formula One afterwards. Yeah. I mean, if you want to be a little bit more edgy, you can go with that one. If you want to keep it simple, you, know, you meet my mom. Accomplished, she has found an outfit after about 45 minutes. All right, um, I haven't even shown y'all the room, but this is the room. Got a dope little table right here, a little closet. Little mirror, and then over here, got a little living room, which is dope. That's actually a pretty cool painting. It's dope. Here is the bedroom. It's dope. Yeah, you just want to <laughs> vlog at the same time. Makes zero sense. A little bathtub over here. It's dope. All right, cool. This morning is the TED Talk, so I got my fit on. I forgot the name of this brand, but it's a cool little sweater. I'll probably link the Instagram up here. Got the same pants I had on yesterday from I Love Ugly, and then down low, got the Tom Sachs. Um, Tom Brown, today I got on the uh, Datejust 41 millimeter, because it's my first watch that I ever bought, so this is my first big public, public speaking thing, so hey, why not go with that? All right, so we made it over here to the TED Talk location. I had to grab me something to eat, so your boy had to stop by Whataburger. This is Taj's first time here, and of course she gets chicken nuggets at a, uh, well not chicken nuggets, chicken strips at a burger spot. So, oh, no, no. Um, so she's gonna try that for the first time. I got my little regular burger, and then we're gonna head back over here and knock out this speech.
how do you define success? And as you take a second to think about that, I'm going to walk you through what success means to me. Success to me is freedom. Being able to wake up when you want to, travel when you want to, you know, actually living and not just existing. I have found my way to success by forming daily habits that have helped me reach my goals each year. Sometimes it takes a period of isolation to get to where you want to get in life. While your peers go out every weekend to escape the harsh realities that they have to face come Monday morning, you stay home, study your craft, and block out the noise. The instant gratifications of life will always be there. One year of pure focus can put you five years ahead of your peers. Success requires sacrifice. No matter what you consider success, you're gonna to have to do some work to get there. There's gonna be some tough times, but remember, any challenge that's thrown your way, you have the tools to overcome them. So I wanna ask you guys again, how do you define success? Write it down, then write down the small goals and sacrifices that you're gonna to have to do to get there. And lastly, remember, Never doubt your abilities to achieve what you want to achieve in life. My name is Carlos Harris. I'm a 28-year-old entrepreneur. I want to walk you through some of the chapters of my life of difficult takes a day, impossible takes a week. And the first chapter is going to be humble beginnings. All right, so we finished up the TED Talk. Apparently, I did a good job. No, you did a great so, job. Um, hopefully you guys saw it. If not, and I know my homie's got some B-roll. Yeah, yeah. I took notes. Uh, I don't know if we could depend on her. Might be a little, little I got shaky. Some and some uh, my dad, he yeah, thinks he's a content 100. creator. But overall, it went good. It was a solid oh, yeah. little experience to do first public speaking and get that out the way. Hopefully, we grow to bigger stages and do shit like that. But I guess we're gonna go get something to eat when my mom figures out what hat she was supposed to buy. And uh, yeah, we'll touch base a little bit later. So my mom then got her little glasses. Show them the other ones too. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, go ahead, show out. I see y'all here, we got to show y'all what it is. Trina, just do me one favor, because I know you'll model. Grab that hat for me so I can model real fashion. She gotta pull it out the bag. No, it's open. Oh, yeah. she didn't got her hat too. Yeah, because I'm ready when I go back for the file. And she said turn it to the Only person side. wearing big hats is Granny Manny. What's, there we go. <laughs> It's Los's mother out here in these speaking streets. Speaking streets. <laughs> Look like she's about to go to a speakeasy. <laughs> so we are on our way. Where are we going, babe? Back to Grand Lux. We're going to. And Grand I'm getting Lux. a shrimp pasta this time. What did you get yesterday? Did Tasha tell y'all how she got on my nerves this morning? <laughs> go ahead, tell her. Yeah. First she the king of getting on my nerves and loving me at the same time. <laughs> it's a good balance. Because otherwise, nigga. No, 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 no. I'm completely right. And what I be saying? No, nobody be is, checking. Just like man. I did in my TED Talk speech, no. she has chapters <laughs> to how she wants to deliver things. She'll say, "Hey, Carlos, I'll come over there. Hey, can you come lay down?" I'll be like, "Why? Because my back hurts. Why don't you just say, "Hey, Carlos, can you come in here and lay down? Because my back hurt. That's it. <laughs> don't ask me three different separate things <laughs> while I'm sitting here trying to put together a PowerPoint presentation that I gotta present the next day." But yeah, we're going dime. to Grand Lux. And it was a good little TED talk. It was freezing in there. She always freezing anyway. I, it no, was freezing. No, it was freezing. It was. It felt like 30 degrees in there. Did it? It was cold. It was cold. If I the mean, men was cold, it was cold. And it was a black room. That's the wild part about it. Yeah. With lights. But it was good. Carlos did so good. What was the name of the girl that went before you? I want to talk. I had to get her. I got her Instagram. Hold on. There was this woman with braids. She has such a beautiful speech. Uh, prior to Carlos, I was like, Dang. her name is Shannon. The one with the show, with the soil. Uh -huh. Yeah, Shannon. She's, she she's a mom, mom of she two entrepreneur. So she's an artist and an actress. It it's a good thing you did good babe because if you sucked and you went after her when do i ever suck no i know but what that's i'm crazy. saying is you guys Talking about if did I suck. so well i love how it got better but all right we're back at the hotel um the ted talk went great um it was a really cool experience and just to keep it transparent the first part of my speech was the only part that i memorized the rest was me just speaking solely from my heart and how i felt about the uh, shit that I wanted to address on the slides. So it was a really authentic message. And I always want to deliver messages like that 
versus just like sounding like a robot while I'm speaking because you can practice a, per a perfect speech, but my whole goal is to connect with the audience. And as long as you can feel the energy from the audience swaying in a different direction as you're speaking and giving them insight on your journey and stuff like that, I think that's all that really matters. So it turned out really great. And I really appreciate my family coming out, Dante and Chrissy coming out. I think Dante and Chrissy are actually at the door right now. And it was just really cool to have that entire thing take place, which um, it wasn't expected, but the opportunity was presented and you capitalize on that shit at all times. So yeah, I'm gonna drink this glass of wine, turn up for a little bit. We're going to the Mavs game. Uh, that boy got that daily paper on. Yes, I got the little sweatshirt. That, yeah, that shit is fire. Um, My man but just yeah. popped over here, he did the TED talk, he crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're about to go to the Mavs game. I'll probably record a little bit there too. I'm probably gonna close out this vlog. If not, I might add like the F1 stuff that I'm going to with my dad tomorrow in Austin. So um, that'll be cool too, because that's something that he's wanted to do for his entire life is go to a Formula One race. So I was like, fuck it, let's go. So I'm gonna go down there and then I'm gonna come back to Dallas, pick up my watch and then probably hang out with my mom and my sisters because my sister will be back from her uh, class reunion. So she couldn't make it to the talk, but uh, she'll be back for that. And yeah, if I don't close out the vlog here or if I do, Thanks for tuning in. We're almost at 22,000 subscribers. It might be there before I post this. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.